as a customer of 20i, you have the choice in how you manage your databases. While our integrated PHP My Admin tool is always available, some of you might prefer the robustness and features of tools like My SQL Workbench. Today, we'll explore how to connect to remote SQL for those seeking advanced database management. Firstly, head to Manage Hosting on the My20i control panel. Next, find the package where the database that you wish to connect to is located, and then select Options and Manage to get to the Hosting Package Overview. Now, scroll down to the Web Tools pane and click on the Remote My SQL Access icon. On this page, you'll see a heading called Add Access Host. Underneath, you'll need to select the database user you want to connect to remotely from the drop-down menu. You'll then also need to enter the IP address that you will be connecting from. By default, the IP address that you are currently connecting from will be added automatically. In this case, we will leave that IP address, however, you are able to change the IP address if necessary. It's also possible to add the percentage symbol into the IP address field as a wildcard to whitelist all IP addresses. Your remote MySQL credentials have now been created. It's important to remember that the mysql.gb.stackcp.com hostname must be used for all remote connections. It's not possible to use the standard database hostname that you'll find on the MySQL databases page within My20i for remote connections. In the case of this video, we will use MySQL Workbench to connect to the database remotely. Once you have opened MySQL Workbench, head to the Database menu and then select Manage Connections. You'll want to name your connection in the Connection Name field first. In the Host Name field, enter the host name mysql.gb.stackcp.com. You'll then want to enter the port number that was just generated on the Remote SQL Access page in My20i. In this case, the port number was 54484, so we will enter that into my SQL Workbench. The username is the database name, this can also be fetched from my20i on the same page. Now, add the database password into my SQL Workbench. You can do this by clicking on the Store in Vault button. Once the password has been added, all that is left is to check that everything has been configured correctly, you can do this by clicking on Test Connection. You should now be able to connect to a 20i hosted database using a remote MySQL connection. If you are unsure of the database password, you will be able to reset the password on the MySQL databases page within My20i. You can either enter your own password or use our own random password generator tool to create a secure password. Once you have entered the new password, press the Save button. If you need any further assistance please feel free to reach out to our technical support team via either a live chat or ticket from the customer support section of your My20i account. They're available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week and are always happy to help.